Okay, so I today received this uh, Storm 32 uh, gimbal controller. I'll put it in the shot. This is from Good Luck Buy, and uh, I don't know if you can see on there. I don't know if it will focus, but the uh, the version down here is version 1.31. The strange thing is, this board um, on first inspection doesn't look like any version 1.31 board I've ever seen before, and uh, I've seen quite a few different designs of these boards. Um, one of the things that stood out instantly for me is the connector for the IMU. That's this is where the camera IMU plugs in. It actually does come with an IMU supplied from Good Luck Buy. Uh, and that is it. Um, thing is, I didn't want to use this IMU because it's a it's an I2C IMU, and these are prone to issues with um, with interference on the uh, on the I2C bus. So instead of using one of these things, I wanted to use my NT IMU. This is basically a serial IMU that you can use instead, and the newer. Um, Oli W firmwares support this NT IMU. It connects to the same port on the uh, on the brushless gimbal controller. Um, the only difference is that when you flash the board with the the newer firmware, uh, the pin options change slightly. Uh, SCL becomes uh, transmit and SDA becomes receive. The the thing that instantly stood out to me though with this board is that the order of the pins are completely different to any board I've seen before um, very very strange the usually the VCC and the ground are at the opposite ends of the pins and the SDA and SCL are the two central pins but as you can see this one has got SCL and SDA then ground and then VCC so completely different order of pins anyway so I, I, I uh, connected up my uh, NT IMU I sold it on the cable that came with this gimbal controller to my uh, IMU and this IMU runs off 3.3 volts like every other IMU that I've used with a uh, with a storm 32 board um, I don't know if you can notice on this IMU but there's a, a lot of um, blackness in the corner there, and that's where the smoke came out basically because what happened when I plugged this into the Storm 32 board and powered the board off the LiPo battery, a 3 cell, um, the board's quite happy to run on a 3 cell battery connected directly. But um, what appears to have happened is the something functionally faulty with this board, and instead of outputting 3.3 volts on the VCC line of this connector, it is instead outputting the full battery voltage which is over 12 volts on a 3 cell lipo so um, basically 12 volts got attached to my IMU and uh, nasty smoke came out basically as you would fully expect that to happen um, so not only does the board look different and the connections on it are different but the actual functionality on it does not conform to uh, Storm 32 version 1.31 board. In fact, none of the Storm 32 boards, to my knowledge, uh, are supposed to output full battery voltage on that IMU connector. So, not um, not only is this board faulty, um, but in the process of trying to set it up, I've actually destroyed an 11 euro sensor. Uh, and I'm wanting, I wanted to demonstrate this issue on video so that I could show the guys at Good Luck Buy that this board is flawed uh, in its build. It's a, it's a build fault or a, it's been designed specifically that way. If it has been designed spe specifically to output full battery voltage on this connector here, then there's something seriously wrong with the designer because that should not happen with this board. Um, and as you can see, it's destroyed this 11 euro board, which I'm not very happy about. And I'm hoping that um, if if um, good luck buy are worth their salt, that they will refund me the money for the damage this board has caused to my equipment. Um, I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll be quite surprised if they do, because I can't imagine that they would um, pay for any damage that their equipment's done. 
they probably won't even want to pay for this to be uh, for this to be replaced or, or replaced with a different model hopefully but um, I'm going to demonstrate the fact that the uh, full battery voltage uh, comes out of this thing first of all you should note I've got a three cell lipo there it is it's just a tiny little 800 milliamp hour three cell lipo um, and I've got the, the standard uh, connector on the end which mounts up with the connector that comes on the gimbal controller um, just to um, check and show to you that the voltage output on this battery what it is if you look at the multimeter there I'm going to connect this to the uh, the connections on the battery you can see about 12.27 volts straight out the battery right there just now okay so now I'm going to plug in the uh, gimbal controller what you'll see though when I plug it in is the lights kind of come on and they they make it awful bright um, to actually film. It kind of is so bright that the, uh, you don't really see a great amount of detail. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the, uh, the multimeter to the two pins on the outputs of, um, of this port here, the IMU port. And you can have a look at the, uh, in the process you can look at the multimeter, 12.06 volts. So this is supposed to be a 3.3 volt output coming from the gimbal controller. As you can see, it's a 12.06 volts. So uh, to me, that's almost the entire battery voltage which is being output on this port, which is no wonder the NTIMU went up in smoke when it's designed for 3.3 volt input, um, as is the standard IMU and every other IMU, like I say, that I've, I've uh, come across for that's been designed specifically for the, uh, the Storm 32 gimbal controller. So there you can see this uh, this board. Even though um, even though it appears to function, and I did manage after my third attempt to get the uh, firmware to flash on it. Um, it had uh, the first two attempts of flashing the firmware on this board um, ended up with uh, verification errors when it it basically flashes. Um, the memory, the EEPROM page by page, and when it's completed flashing all of the pages, it then goes through and does a verification on each of the pages, and uh, it, it was failing uh, the first two attempts on that verification. Uh, but third attempt, fortunately, it went through and verified everything okay, and it did flash. And I did manage to do a, a calibration on the onboard IMU, which is classed as uh, IMU number two. Um, so that does function, but uh, the dysfunctional thing about this is, as I say, the voltage coming from the IMU uh, port, which is clearly not right because there isn't any uh, IMU, whether it's the, the old I2C style IMU, which, uh, which um, people still are using these days. Sorry, this is the old style one, the one that came with it. But to be honest, um, if you wanted to feed the cables from the old style um, I2C, uh, IMU, those data cables, if they go anywhere near power cables, you end up with I2C errors. So for that reason, Oli W has uh, designed a brand new uh, firmware, which works with these cool devices, which are serial based IMUs instead of the I2C ones. So um, these serial based ones are fantastic. You can run the cables right through the gimbal, right next to power cables, and it picks up no um, cross talk from the other cables whatsoever it picks up no interference so um, you can run the cables through things like slip rings and what have you and there's there's no issue with when you use one of these IMUs which is what I wanted to do which is why I spent 11 euros on the IMU anyway so that's basically in the bin now completely useless 11 euros plus postage from Lithuania uh, basically in the bin because of this piece of crap uh, supplied by good luck buy so I would definitely not recommend to buy this particular board from good luck buy I don't know if the other boards on good luck buy are any better than this one but I'll flip the camera around and show you which one this is on my monitor so I don't know if you can see you have to zoom in a bit on that but this is the uh, the one that's advertised is the Storm 32 BGC 32-bit dual gyro brushless gimbal controller driver for FPV aerial photography. And um, I don't know if there's any code on that to identify it. Oh, SKU code. 
112651. So if you are looking on Good Luck Buy for a gimbal controller, do not buy the one with that SKU code because it clearly has flaws in its design and it could cost you money if you decide to try and wire it up to uh, your own equipment. So yeah, beware and um, hopefully Good Luck Buy will, um, you know, um, honor some sort of replacement for this and um, <laughs> with any luck and a, and a bit of a miracle they might uh, honor some kind of replacement for this that basically their equipment has managed to destroy so anyway i've gone on enough about this so i'm going to shut up now cheers